everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Welcome back to another Stampin' 101 video. Today I thought I would share with you how I store my stamps as well as the different types of Stampin' Up! stamps. So there's three different types of Stampin' Up! stamps. There's Photopolymer. Um, these are stamps, they have a couple stamp sets and they are great for some of these work well with the uh, Stampin' Up's version of the Smashbook. It's called This and That. So this one is called Show and Tell 2. Also great for working on Project Life. Uh, it has some great sentiments, uh, arrows, and numbers, and there's a couple of other different photopolymer stamps. Now, one thing about photopolymer stamps, they only have them in this. They don't have them in a rubber cling or wood mount version. It's just the uh, photopolymer stamps right now. Then they have their cling mount, or in the catalog they call them clear, and then they also have the wood mount stamps. Now the wood and cling mount stamps, they are exactly the same except for that the wood mount comes with the blocks that you can actually mount your rubber stamps onto the wood mount block and then put your sticker on the top. And then there's the cling or the clear, which is what the I mainly get and they come in DVD style cases. The other ones, the wooden ones, come in a little bit of a thicker case that has room for the wood uh, the wood piece. They have the name of the stamp set along with some samples on the side so you can see if you get depending on how you keep them stored what your stamp set is. And then they have the images on the front. And they come, let me just uh, show you first of all with these two stamp sets. I have one that's brand new. I haven't even taken the cling off the back yet. And then there's this one, which is a hostess stamp set currently. And you have options with this. A lot of people like to keep them without their stickers. So this is the sticker sheet. And they come like this. So they come in one big piece of rubber and it has protective coating on the back. You peel off the coating and stick the sticker onto the back and I'll show you how to do that. I have one missing because I'm using it on a project right now. A lot of people don't like to have the sticker on the back because they don't stick as well to uh, acrylic blocks unless your block is really clean along with your sticker. Um, I know a lot of people will put double-sided tape on here or I I think I've read where they use a two-wig, two-two-way glue pen, <laughs> two-wig, <laughs> two-way glue pen, and let it dry so it's repositionable. And they, you know, then you can use it that way. But I like to keep mine without the sticker on the back. But let me just show you how to do it with the, with this, uh, to put the sticker on. So this one is the Mr. and Mrs. stamp set. So what I do is I just pop the. Uh, rubber stamp out from the rubber piece, peel the protective coating off the back, then you have your sticker sheet, and the sticker sheets have, each sticker has a slit in the middle, so you have peel off one half, and then you can peel off the other half of the sticker. This outline where the sticker uh, is, is the same shape as the stamp itself, so what you do is you take your stamp and you line it up, and this is kind of hard to do if, unless you're at the right angle, you line it up onto that piece, so there's like a little outline from where you pull the sticker off, push it down, and when you peel it up, your sticker will be lined up onto your stamp. So, but like I said, I like to keep mine without the sticker, and let me just show you a little way I found to keep mine stored. Now, somebody else might be doing this. This is It's just something I came across while I was working. I was getting frustrated because when I work on a stamp set, yeah, I have the sticker sheet, which usually gets buried somewhere on my desk. So I thought maybe I'll just tape that right to the side of my inside cover so it wouldn't keep flopping around. But the other problem is, too, is that if I used one or two of these stamps uh, and pull the protective coating off the back, this slides all over in here, too. So then I end up this on the desk, and it just becomes a little bit of a mess for me. So let me just show you my solution for what I did. What I do is I pull all of the stamps off the rubber piece here, so you're left with just the outlines. Just like that. And then I take my sticker sheet, and on this side you can actually see a little bit what the images are. Now they are backwards, which that's okay. This works out really well for me anyway. So what I do is I just take, I have a little bit of, tape over here. I take it and 
underneath the front cover, or the protective coating for your artwork, I take my sticker sheet and I stick it right to the back side of my case. So then when I'm in the inside looking at my stamps, I can see where they go. So especially if you have something like that banner one I just showed you, um, and they're all the same size, it's kind of hard to tell which goes where, but at least then you can have an idea because you can see through now to your pieces. So, so what I do now is my outline piece or of uh, rubber here, I pull the backing off. So this is cling mount too. And then what I do is I just take this and line it up. Now sometimes they line up perfectly, sometimes they're a little bit off. My hexagon stamp set is a little off. They don't line up perfectly. That was the first one I came across so far that didn't line up. So I just take that backer piece, stick it right there, stuck in there very nicely. And then I take all of my pieces and I can peel the backing off so that they are clean. Or you could just leave them on there for now until you're ready to use them. So this one goes in here. And what's really nice about this too is if it's a shape that is like oval, it's easier to tell which way the stamp goes. And I'll show you what I mean about that and as soon as I get these in here. So that helps you see a little bit better what is doing with your stamps. Plus it holds them in place a little bit better. So one of my stamp sets, this one, the Halloween Bash, it has the oval piece and I can see now that which way my stamp goes inside because if it goes in upside down it doesn't really fit in there as nicely but if you put it in the right way it fits in there much better and you won't get your stamps all warped or anything like that not that I think that they would but it just helps keep things a little bit more organized for me plus they're all clung now to the inside of my my stamped case and then another thing I'm doing is I'm taking for example this stamp set right here that's kind and cozy it coordinates it has certain punches that coordinate it with the stamp set and if you look inside the catalog I'll tell you what coordinates with it so what I did was is that the two and a half inch circle punch coordinates with this image right here and I wrote it on a post-it note and stuck it right inside the back of the case. This way I did a post-it note because then I don't have to peel this backing off with, from the tape and try to line it up every time. I could just peel my post-it note off. Um, so the two and a half inch circle punch works with this, but I found that the small heart punch works with this. And then if I come across any other die shapes that might coordinate or work with the sentiments, I can write them on here too. So I always have a couple of options when I pull out the stamp set. I could say, oh, I need my two and a half inch circle punch because I'm going to use this die right here if I want to use it. So that's how I'm storing my clear slash cling mount stamps. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see everybody next time. Have a great day. Bye.